everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyson and this is Seeking Birdies. A couple weeks ago I posted a video to the channel about converting my garage into a practice area. Since I posted that video to the channel, I have received a ton of questions asking my thoughts and my review of the birdie ball putting green. Well, I thought, what better way to answer this question than to make a video? Roll the intro. Instead of waiting to the very end to tell you my thoughts on the birdie ball green, I'm going to save you all a ton of time. I know you've clicked on this video because you want to know, should you buy the birdie ball putting green? Well, the answer is yes. I'm known amongst all of my friends as being a researcher. So before I can go buy a new set of clubs, I can go buy a new TV, I will research it and compare it. I'll look up all the specs. I'll read all the reviews. So that being said, I have checked out all of the putting greens on the market. I have looked at all the specs, the reviews, the prices, configurations, all the options that you can get. And I have found that the birdie ball putting green is by far the best green that you can buy right now. So I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Tyson, you're a YouTuber. You probably get this stuff for free. They probably paid you to make this video. Absolutely not. Um, I wish, but no. Birdie Ball, the company, does not know who I am. Well, that's not true. Actually, they did retweet me. So instead of doing a full review of the green, going piece by piece and all the different materials and showing you how it's all put together, I thought I would share with you some things that I do to get the most out of my Birdie Ball putting green. So I'm a 19 handicap. I'm not a golf coach. I'm just a guy that loves to play golf and I have a camera. So the first thing I recommend when buying your birdie ball putting green is make sure you add on the shim kit. This is honestly probably the best thing that you can add on to your putting green because it makes it so you can customize your green. So it is so nice to be able to take my green and customize it so I can make it break right, I can make it break left, I can raise the pin location, I can make it a downhill putt, an uphill putt. So after I've warmed up on the putting green for a little bit, what I do is I remove all the shims because I am gonna work on my stroke. So through lessons with my golf coach, he pointed out that my putting stroke, the longer my putting stroke is, the more I open the face or close the face, the more I go out, out of alignment and I'll come through and I'll push the ball to the left or I'll push it to the right. It's just the longer my stroke is, the worse my putting gets. So to shorten my stroke and work on this, what I do is I will put down my eyeline mirror I'll put a ball down that I'm gonna hit, and then in back of it, I'll put another ball, about six inches in back of it. What this does is it prevents me from going back. It shortens my stroke. And like I said, the longer my stroke is, the worse my putting is, because I'm off alignment. But if I can keep it short, I stay on alignment, and I keep my club face perfect, so then I don't pull it to the left. I'll practice this putt about 20 to 30 times, knowing that if I hit that ball while I went too far, I'll reset it and I'll keep going. So the next exercise I do is with my laser level. So as long as your laser level has a vertical line, you can do this next exercise. So what I do with my laser level is I will line it up about two or three feet in back of me, but I'll line it up with the hole in which I'm trying to putt at. Then I take my ball, which has the line on it, I'll then align the ball with the laser. Next up, I take my putter, which has the line on it, and I'll line that up. Doing that, I now know that I am completely square, I'm in alignment. Then after about three or four putts, I'll step back, reset, I'll turn off the laser, and see if I can align myself to the hole without the help of the laser. Doing this is great for learning how to align your body along with your putter, along with your ball, to the hole. So after I get done doing this, and I'm feeling good, it's probably been about 20 minutes, then what I do is I add it up. If you got the shim kit, you can now add breaks to your putts. Doing this would not be possible without the shim kit. You need to go check out their website, birdieball.com. I'll put a link down below. I do not get any commissions. I don't get any uh, referral fees, anything like that. Like I said, they don't even know who I am. This is just a straight link to their website. I highly recommend you check out their options. They have pre-configured packages. They have fully customized setups that you can go through. You can even put your logo on them. I highly recommend the Birdie Ball Putting Green. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please go down to the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, keep seeking birdies.
Thank you.